Wow, I hope you are not expecting the Federal Reserve to decrease interest rates at their next Fed funds meeting. And I say that because the ISM, the Institute for Supply Management, just came with their April, their April data, and it was a massive beat. The market forecasted 48.3, and it came back, the numbers came in for the ISM at 50.3, so it was about a two percentage point beat. For you guys at home, any number over 50 is actually in expansion territory. That's an expansionary number. This is the first time in 17 months that the ISM has been over 50, or again, in that expansionary territory. That is that that is a headwind for you guys at home, um, hoping for those interest rate cuts because this is a number Jerome Powell and his friends there really look at hard. The other thing that that uh, was released uh, in uh, early April was the SOFA rate, the uh, secured overnight financing rate. That right now is at 5.3%, and it is above its 90-day average. It's 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 very close to its 90-day average, but it's slightly up. This is another huge number that the Fed looks at in terms of interest rates. These two these two data points are not not good if you are a potentially a real estate company that has your debt coming due this year. I believe there's a trillion dollars of commercial real estate uh, loans that are due this year. And based on those numbers, I don't know when the Fed's going to feel comfortable to start cutting, but they're not going to cut as as the SOFR is increasing and the ISM is increasing. It is that is that is very unprecedented to cut interest rates with those numbers going north. Historically, you would actually increase interest rates, um, if anything, because those are indicators that the economy is hot still. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys were surprised. Uh, again, the market continues to hammer out. Oil is up. Energy prices are up this year pretty substantially. That's inflationary. Bitcoin's back to all-time highs. Weirdly enough, gold's at all-time highs. So almost anything speculative is at all-time highs. It's almost like there's not even a downturn hedge. I mean, gold used to be considered a hedge. Now I don't know what you'd even call it. So again, I think the market's confused. Let's see where it's going. But um, again, hopefully you're not ho you're not banking on the Fed cutting rates soon because I think there's going to be a long there's going to be a long ways to go.